Hey, hashtag, it's Lane Makeway for Netflix's newest romance reality TV show, Perfect Match. I'm going to discuss what the show is all about and break down some of the biggest personalities the show has to offer. Let's get into it. Take some of the biggest personalities from other Netflix shows like The Circle, Love is Blind, The Ultimatum, Selling Tampa, Too Hot to Handle, 20 Somethings Austin, and The Mole, and you get perfect match. The dating show tries to combine competition with strategy with only one couple winning the grand prize. In perfect match, no one is ever safe. You can come and go just like that. But now let's talk about the cast. To start, we got Nick Lachey hosting who isn't afraid to poke fun at NSYNC while being a member of the boy band 98 Degrees himself. Next, we have to talk about Francesca from season one of Too Hot to Handle. Known for dazzling guys and gals with her looks, and breaking rules on her own show. It is safe to say that Francesca has had her fair share of drama and character development through it all. Now, a few years later, we're seeing her on Perfect Match. Her bisexuality makes things complicated with old flame Damien from Love is Blind season one, as Abby from 20 Somethings Austin comes in later episodes with her eye on Francesca. Francesca isn't afraid of what anyone thinks of her, whether it's losing thousands of dollars on Too Hot to Handle or breaking up strong matches on Perfect Match. Next up is Bartiz from season three of Love is Blind. With his lackluster relationship on Love is Blind, we see history repeat itself during his time on Perfect Match. Bartiz blindsided Nancy at the altar, which ruffled some people's feathers. Fast forward to Perfect Match, and you can see Bartiz doing the same thing to Izzy from season three of Too Hot to Handle. Bartiz led both of these girls on only to flip a switch when it came down to making a big decision. Both girls claimed that Bartise blindsided them on their respective shows. Lastly, we have Chase from Too Hot to Handle season two. While already leaving a bad taste in fans' mouths the first time around on his own show, he brings that same energy into the perfect match house. Like Bartise, Chase had his fair share of misleading girls into thinking he likes them on both too hot to handle and perfect match when in reality it's all a game to him and he's gonna play it his reign as a house villain on perfect match soon caught up with him as his selfishness led him to leaving the house there are only eight episodes up right now of perfect match on netflix and the last four episodes are set to premiere tomorrow february 28th it is anyone's game and i'm excited to see what comes next that's all for me and something back to the desk